In Chris Mass's theory, he has ventured to apply the use of water not only for moving the blocks with floats, but also for shaping them. A specific area is created by the quarry that contains water and a shaping area. Because water is constantly level, it can be used as a guide for accurately shaping the blocks. We move the square block into place and then remove the floats. The uneven surface juts out of the water. This is the part that will need chiselling away. Freshly quarried limestone is naturally soft but when exposed to air becomes hard. By placing the blocks in the water it extends the amount of time that the blocks stay soft, increasing the effectiveness of the copper chisels that were available at the time. Using the same process to smooth five of the sides of the facing block, the final stage of preparation is to create the outfacing angled side that would create the smooth exterior of the Giza pyramid. An accurately angled groove is created in the shaping area, as shown here. The facing block, covered in floats, is gently moved into place and then lowered into the angled groove. Again, the floats are removed. The water level describes the angle perfectly and is used as a constant marker to allow the stonemasons to create facing block after facing block with a consistent and accurately angled side, ready for transport to the Giza Plateau. Furthermore, the quarrying and shaping process could have started as soon as it was decided to create the pyramid, giving them tens of thousands of blocks that were ready from the moment the construction began.